Today I'm doing the three hour drive up to Cape Corydron, which is a spectacular headland reserve that covers an area of 4,800 hectares. Here we are on the final day of our trip. We started off on the coast, made our way inland, and here we are back again on the Pilbara coast at the northernmost point of the rabbit proof fence. Some days this place is absolutely calm, but today I'm literally blown away. Among all the other reasons to come to Cape Corodron, if I needed to give you more, it's the perfect spot for boating, camping, fishing and crabbing enthusiasts. Okay, the perfect spot for me. Cape Corodron is also a haven for marine and land animals. So my first port of call is checking in with the local ranger, David Olney, to tell me all about it. How long have you been here and what do you love about this area? My wife and I, we decided to stay here for 12 months back in the day. So we did our 12 months and we just fell in love with the whole Pilbara. And now we've recently just ticked over five years. It's just, it becomes a part of your life. And what do you do on your days off? I go fishing. If I get a chance, I like to go inland and do a little bit of gold prospecting or gemstoning. There's so many different things to do. Oh, so you're a prospector. We actually did some prospecting, but we didn't get anything. Have you found some gold in the area? Found quite a lot of gold in the area. It's just uh, one of those things that you don't tell too many people. There is word of diamonds around near um, the old Goldsworthy site, heading inland towards Marble Bar area as well. But um, it takes a fair bit to find those sort of things. So have you found any? I have found a few different rocks. Ah, uh, we might have to have a bit more of a chat about that later on, Dave, yeah. I think. Yeah, rightio. <laughs> I can't go home yet without trying just a little bit more prospecting. We might find a bit of gold. Ranger Dave gave me a spot to try. It's between Shea Gap and Port Hedland along the railway line. This brings us to the end of our incredible journey discovering those lesser known parts of Western Australia. If you'd like to go to some of those places and don't know how, visit the Western Four Wheel Driver website. Until then, you'll know where to find me.